Hey guys, uh, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I wanted to make a really quick video to give you an update on Spidey's tank. I know I'm not doing another rehouse or anything like that. Her tank is still very, very clean because she doesn't eat very often. And uh, she's also a very tidy spider. But I did order some new little figurines. I know you guys have really enjoyed seeing what Spidey does with her little bunnies and her little tank decorations. So I ordered a few like miniature like garden figurines. Like I guess they're called fairy garden figurines on uh, Amazon. And they came and there's so many adorable little possibilities. I got like a, a I think it's like a, a few dozen little uh, figurine animals for like six bucks on Amazon. Amazon has a lot of really cool stuff to uh, that you can use for decorations that probably aren't for tarantula enclosures, but you know, you can certainly use them for other things. So I wanted to share what I have with you. And I also want to um, show you what I do uh, introduce into her tank. I, I do this because Spidey does some really awesome stuff. She has currently two little bunny figurines and she has moved them around. Uh, she likes to kind of almost, it seems like she snuggles up next to them. So because she does this stuff with the things that I put in her tank, I really want to see what she'll do with other things. So here's a little sample of what I've got and I love this because there are so many cute possibilities. There's froggies, there's little duckies, a cow, uh, there's a few very small ladybugs in here which I'm really excited about because um, even if Spidey ignores these they're certainly small enough for Blinky or you know they're a good size for Blinky so I'm, I think that those might be appropriate for Blinky if Spidey did, ignores them. Uh, there's a lamb, <laughs> there's more bunnies, elephants, uh, a snail, which is pretty cool, a swan. Uh, looks like there's a few bears, there's a piggy. Um, these are really, really cute. Uh, I think that these are gonna add another, a lot of really, really nice color to her enclosure. And uh, I'm also just really excited to see what kind of cool pictures I can get with Spidey as she interacts with these things. Um, you know, she may completely ignore them, but she may not. Sometimes it's hard to predict. Um, every now and then she does interact with her bunnies. So um, I think it's time I introduce a few more things. Okay, guys. So I went a little overboard. I was only going to add a few, but they looked so cute in her tank that, um, yeah, she's got quite a bit going on. And I may... I may kind of scale it back just because um, one thing I realize is that while these figurines are really, really cute, tiny, they add a beautiful touch of color into her tank. Um, I'm kind of creating a little nightmare for myself as Spidey interacts with her tank. I don't know if she's going to take the little ones and kind of like put them into her den and tunnel and like kind of keep them captive in her underground <laughs> space but definitely when I do end up changing her tank um geez I'm gonna have to actually rake through the substrate which isn't a problem but it certainly makes um makes cleaning a bit of a more difficult endeavor and you know I also imagine that if a roach happens to get away from Spidey oh god that's gonna just be even more obstacles to get the roach uh, back in front of her or back into its enclosure if she's not hungry. So anyway, but um, you know, the things we do for uh, beautiful pictures and beautiful enclosures. But anyway, so I feel like before I added a lot of the figurines, the theme was like kind of jungly, uh, really, really cute. Now I've got a mix of colors and I feel like there's no real theme here anymore. I've got a mix of zoo animals. <laughs> I've got elephants. Where's the elephant? The elephant's somewhere over here. Uh, I've got cows, lambs, snails, bugs, ducks. So it's like, there's a flamingo. <laughs> it's like zoo and farm animals mixed together now. But I just love the colors. And if she actually does anything with these things, um, I think that it'll provide a lot of really amazing tarantula studies and a lot of really awesome pictures because I know that I've certainly got a lot of really cute pictures of the things she's done with this bunny and this bunny. Those are her originals. Um, 
so we will see i'm really curious um part of me was somewhat tempted to take one of the little animals and put them in her dish right here because she's been laying in that a lot um i'm really really interested in seeing because tarantulas and i don't understand how it works but they do have some sort of weird tidying slash organizational behavior right so like we've noticed that tarantulas will often um take either their waist or the boluses of their prey when they're done with it and they'll kind of put it in one corner i'm really curious if spidey might interact with these little toys as in like oh these are things that i need to clean up and if she actually puts them whether it's in her dish or she's got another little nice resting place over here um or if she kind of like what she did with her bunnies she had kind of placed them more closely together and laid over them um, so I'm really, really curious and I know she can't, you know, she cannot see the beautiful colors. She cannot like, you know, barely see these things and register what they are. But, um, I think, you know, she, she certainly can feel their surfaces and she can feel their size and their weight. So I'm really, really interested to just see what happens and I'll keep you updated. Um, yeah. And I hope that she has fun with them. You know, I mean, we don't think tarantulas have much bandwidth to experience fun or anything like that. But, you know, if I was a tarantula and I was trapped in an enclosure, um, I might appreciate having a few new toys every now and then. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe it gives you some ideas. I hope I certainly got some really interesting tarantula studies out of this. All right, take care. Bye-bye.